Hi, I'm Josh. I'm the Youth Program Manager here at Urban Workshop, and I wanted to show you what we, what we cover in Level 1, all of the different projects and how they're important and um, what you'll be doing if you sign up for, for the Level 1 classes. So, the first thing that we typically do is we take these BMX bikes apart using a variety of different hand tools. Um, we take off the handlebars, the seat, the saddle rather, the wheels, uh, a lot of other components there. And it's not so much about the BMX bikes as it is kind of a thorough introduction to hand tools. So we show them how to use socket wrenches, adjustable wrenches, uh, you know, the difference between a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. We've got a, a variety of different, we've got Allen wrenches in here. And they use these different tools to, to really start to get a feel for working with their hands. So next up we have, in no particular order, sometimes we teach these classes a little bit differently. Um, and right here we've got the, the laser etched biplane and a custom laser piece. So we teach them how to use our 60 watt epilogue laser and they make their own little engraved part and at the same time they assemble a laser cut biplane. That gives them some sense of what the possibilities are when they, when they want to use that, that machine on their own. It's one of the most popular machines in our shop so it's really neat that we get to introduce it right off the bat. Uh, next up one of the things we'll do is a two color silk screen so they'll get to make and take home an Urban Workshop t-shirt. Uh, two different colors using our silk screener and either vinyl or photo emulsion depending on uh, what exactly we have. One of the next things we do is we take um, this right here, this is a little mechanical buzzer game, kind of like the game operation, you have to go around the, the wire, if you touch the wire it buzzes, in other words you complete the circuit. So this is their introduction to soldering and working with electrical components the first time they've seen a circuit. We introduce this throughout all four levels. Um, and the projects get increasingly more difficult. In level four, we end up doing a Bluetooth speaker with them. But this is the introductory soldery pro soldering project. Uh, we do Arduino, an introduction to physical computing. So they each get um, LEDs, the Arduino board itself. They get resistors, and they're challenged with getting these LEDs to light up, coding the, coding the actual code that goes into what's called the IDE, or the development environment developed by Arduino and they get their lights to light up and flash and blink and do different things that they themselves control. We, we revisit Arduino throughout most of levels as well, so we, in level two we, we increase the difficulty and we do more fun stuff. Uh, here we've got vacuum forming, this is called the buck, this is what they actually, one of the masks that they can vacuum form, and um, this vacuum former here is used for all kinds of things, it's one of the ways that we introduce working with plastic with them. Uh, they do get to take home all of these projects. Uh, another one, we teach CAD modeling, 3D modeling, 3D design, so computer assisted design. And they get to make and take home a custom 3D printed name badge when they've, when they've completed their CAD modeling class. So they'll, ca they'll actually model this up themselves um, and then they'll get to load it into the 3D printer. Um, later on, we take that 3D printed keychain and we actually silicon mold it. So we teach them how to make a mold and then how to replicate plastic parts or other parts that they may want more of. So this, we, we silicon mold their 3D printed part and then we pour additional plastic into this silicon mold and they get to replicate this as many times as they want. Uh, we, we teach uh, Introduction to Woodshop, which is this tic-tac-toe game right here, and that gets their hands on saws, understanding teeth and and how much pressure and force you actually need to do things. They'll do a little bit of drilling for the holes. Um, they'll miter the edges themselves. Um, it's really their opportunity to, to start working with uh, woodshop hand tools and to start to ma master some of the basics so that when, in later levels um, we can increase the difficulty of the projects and we're confident the students know what they're doing. And the last project is this right here. This is the marshmallow crossbow, one of the favorites. It is cut on our CNC, which is a computer numerical control. It's a computer controlled device that we have in the back of our workshop. Um, they assemble these and they take home marshmallow launchers. So the, the little trigger in the little area here allows you to put a marshmallow in, pull this back, and then it launches marshmallows. And that's the final project of level one.